Well, with several months still to go, the U.S. has already been hit by more billion dollar disasters than any other year on record. Hurricane Adalia is the latest of the 23 disasters, breaking the record of 22 set in 2020. NOAA scientists say climate change is fueling the increase as well as a record hot summer. Climate reporter Chase Kane shows us how extreme heat will continue costing us more until we take bigger action. This summer gave new life to a viral Simpsons meme. Bart complains, this is the hottest summer of my life. Homer, this is the coolest summer for the rest of your life. And sadly, that could be true. With July the hottest month ever recorded, and this summer, Earth's hottest by a lot. In the US, heat targeted the Pacific Northwest and Gulf Coast, which has Florida, Mississippi, and Louisiana suffering through their hottest year so far. And the way in which it's distributing around the country, I think, is not so much a surprise, but uh, an unfortunate um, manifestation of what we have been expecting as a result of climate change impacts. Heat makes our power bills higher, our food costs more, pushes outdoor workers to the brink, and it kills way more Americans than any other type of weather. So politically, why does addressing extreme heat feel so cold? One of the challenging things about heat is it often doesn't give us this huge camera ready fodder, right? It's not like a hurricane that blows through. There's this famous scene in the Gladiator movie where Russell Crowe throws down his weapons and he's disgusted with everybody and he looks at the crowd and says, are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? And there have been many times um, throughout my years of doing this work that I've kind of felt like this summer, is this enough? Is this enough? So I totally understand you're asking the question. And the extreme heat is being driven by carbon emissions, burning oil and gas. Climate Central found that on any given day this summer, more than one and a half billion people sweated through climate amplified heat. <laughs> And heat policy experts say the costs are soaring. When we do the autopsy of this summer, it's going to look like a mass casualty event. And it's going to be shocking even to people like me who work in this field, right? But I think we're also going to be shocked at the economic impact of these things. Once you calculate the cost on the hospital system, agriculture and outdoor labor loss, uh, just across the board. It is not, you know, heat is not a singular lonely event, right? It has far reaching tentacles into many other aspects of society. In Washington, I'm climate reporter Chase Kane.